Hi, this is Heidi Caswell here, back again. We are finishing up our tutorial on moving the WordPress site from one host to another. Now as a review, these are some of the things we've already done. We exported our database from our old host. We created a new database on the new host. We imported our database to that new host, the new database we made up, the database file, we imported it. We took all our WordPress files and we moved them from the old, we made a copy of them from the old host and put them onto the new host. And then we went in and we edited the WP config file so that it would connect your new host with the new host database. And now there's a couple more little minor things we need to do so it'll all work right. One thing it is, is we have to remove any index HTML file. Now, a lot of websites, as you first set them up, they automatically put an index HTML file um, on your site. And it may be something that if you go there, it may something like say something like, uh, you know, please upload information or start your site. Or it may just kind of be like a search page or something um, or under construction. And that's just kind of holding a place for you. Now, WordPress uses an index PHP instead of HTML and the sites automatically upload the HTML site first. So once you've got things in there, what you want to do is you want to delete the index HTML file. Let me show you. Here I am, I just use my FTP program. You could do the same thing in the file manager if you wish on your uh, hosting account. Uh, but you're gonna go ahead and go on in and you can see right here, see where it says index HTML? Well, this is for the WordPress one is the PHP. So we're going to take this whole page and we're just going to hit the delete button on it and delete it. And now it's gone. Really simple. Next, you want to go to the place you bought your domain name from. It may have been your old host. It may be somebody else. I like to keep my domain name separate from the people I buy my hosting from. And you're going to go on over to your domains and just go to manage domains. And you're going to pick the domain that is that you're going to edit. We're going to use an example um, here. Once you're here, you're going to go ahead and go to the domain name that you're going to change where it's going to. And just go ahead and click on it. Manage. That would be the M. Yours may look different. The different ones um, work a little differently. They're somewhat similar, but you're going to look for something similar to this. And um, what we want to do is we want to uh, edit the uh, change the name servers. And so I'm going to click on the change the name servers. And right here you can see this one is currently posting. It's connecting to the IX web hosting where I was before. Now when you get your um, set up a new host, they will give you an email. And in the welcome email, it has a lot of information. And part of it will, is your new name servers. And that's what you're going to want to put there. So this is just an example here. So instead of where it says ns11ixwebhosting.com, I would put the, um, and I just lost it. And these aren't real ones. These are just made up ones here. Just kind of showing you what they would put there. And then you would put it here. And then you'd put the same thing that you would need over here on this next one. And just copy that and put that there too. Now I'm not going to go ahead and save it because I'm not uh, moving this one. But this is just an example of how you would change your name servers. And all you do is just hit submit after you have them changed. And then you go ahead and go to your website and it should look the same even when it's been changed. Uh, one way to know whether it's been really changed and moved is sometimes after I... Um, upload the database, I'll go back into my site and maybe just put one post that's just like a test post or a little mark on a post or something so I can tell which database I'm in. And then I know that it's moved and I'm on the new one when that little test post or whatever, I may, may just make a little page saying moving to a new host, um, testing. And then you can just delete it, just put that on the old one. And then when it's showing up, you know you're still on the old one. And on the new one, when you don't see that post anymore, you know you're on the new one. And it may flake back and forth a few little bit as it changes from the old, um, when it's a name service, it takes a while for it to go all around the world and show it when it's been changed. But it'll be changed if you have issues, just go ahead and call them. Anyway, have fun with this.